Welcome back friends. It's so lovely to have many of our students, clients and friends all over the world see these wonderful messages every day. Please make little efforts and share these with more loved ones so that more and more souls can be helped and this guidance can turn around many people's lives. Getting to today's message, the angels laid a very very important point last night. And the aspect of life that we often try to, you know, fight or try to dwell upon is for most of us that I am constantly being taken for granted is what people say. People do not understand of being assertive to standing up and saying, no, this is not so. I'm not going to participate with this. The question is that are you allowing yourself to be taken for granted? We need to know. No one can ever make us feel until and unless we want to feel that way. If somebody on the roadside or a cab driver or a rickshaw driver tells you something and you have an altercation and a little fight or an argument, would you keep that in your heart and dwell upon it? You wouldn't because it doesn't make a difference to you. You have not allowed that that outsider's talks would affect you, how much ever he may have abused you or said something. But when that happens with a seeming loved one, then we feel hurt, we feel resentments, we feel hatred at times. And that's exactly what the angels guide us to move away from. To keep saying to ourselves that I am detached and unaffected from my surroundings. To understand that unless and until I allow myself to be taken for granted, there is no one that can do that. There is no one without my permission that can make me feel bad or the opposite, make me feel happy. I feel happy when I want to. I feel low when I want to. And when you move towards that and stand straight up, holding on to that fact that nothing can affect me till I let it affect me, then you shall truly see that many such people, events and episodes of your life will start diluting. They will all dissipate into the nothingness from where they came. So let's seek guidance on how we can move towards this aspect more and more in our lives to bring in detachment and to understand that we need to first stand up for ourselves. We shall seek guidance from our loving Archangel Michael there. And Archangel Michael tells us to move away from all these trivialities of our life and truly stand up and know that you cannot be affected by anyone or anything is to bring in sense of humor. So bring in that dash of sense of divine humor into your life and tell the angels that you thank them for helping you see the humor in a situation so that you can lovingly laugh at the human nature of how we all operate from our healed or unhealed energies. And when you laugh over it, you become like that little animal who throws mud after digging up, just throws it back and walks ahead. So, I am willing to view my experiences in a new light, is what angels ask you to tell you. And affirm this to yourself. When you start affirming this in order to attract love and healing energies, you shall see that how you are able to laugh at all these little, little things that are transpiring around you and move towards greater happiness, love, joy in your everyday life. And now we get to the color of the day. The color of the day angels have guided is orange. Orange is a representative color of our chakra, the sacral chakra. And it represents the innermost connection with our intimate relationships and many other facets of life connected to that. 
So bring in that orange and create a certain bond with yourself. See your life with humorous eyes and bring about all the joy that is awaiting you. So say blessed, loved and protected in love and light and Godspeed.